Today I am going to show you the real reasons why where winds meet refuses to launch, crashes instantly, shows a black screen, or auto-closes without any error. If your game is stuck on the loading screen, not opening at all, or closing a few seconds after launching, this video will walk you through every fix that actually works. Stay with me until the end, because I will show you one hidden window setting that causes 80% of these launch failures, but most players have no idea it exists. Let us begin. Step 1. Run as administrator and disable overlays. Right-click the game's shortcut or executable file. Select the option Run as administrator. If this solves the problem, you can make it permanent by right-clicking the executable, choosing Properties, navigating to the Compatibility tab, and enabling the Run this program as an administrator option. Next, disable all overlays on your system. This includes Steam Overlay, GeForce Experience Overlay, Discord Overlay, Overlays often interfere with performance and cause crashes, especially during high GPU load. Step 2. Verify Game Files Corrupted files are one of the most common reasons the game crashes. If you are using Steam, open your library, right-click the game, then click Properties. Go to Installed Files and click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. This simple step alone can resolve over 30% of all crash reports. Step 3. Update graphics drivers with a clean installation. Outdated graphics drivers can cause instability. Visit the official website of NVIDIA or AMD, depending on your graphics card. Download the latest stable driver available for your system. When installing, choose Custom Installation. Then check the option to perform a clean install. Avoid using beta drivers unless they are officially recommended. Step 4. Increase virtual memory or page file size. If the game crashes a few minutes after launch or during autosaves, your system may be running out of memory. To manually increase virtual memory, follow these steps. Open the Windows search bar and type Advanced System Settings. Go to the Performance section, click on Settings, then the Advanced tab. Click on Virtual Memory and then Change. Uncheck the option that automatically manages paging file size. Select the drive where the game is installed and set the initial size to 4096 megabytes. Set the maximum size to 8192 megabytes or more, depending on your available storage. This fix is especially useful for systems with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Step 5. Disable simultaneous multithreading or SMT for AMD processors. If you are using an AMD Ryzen processor and experiencing random crashes during driving or combat, this step may help. Enter your computer's BIOS settings during system startup. Find the option labeled Simultaneous Multithreading or SMT and disable it temporarily. Many users have reported up to 30% fewer crashes after making this change. Step 6. Enable Game Mode and GPU Scheduling in Windows. First, open Windows Settings and go to the Gaming section. Enable Game Mode. Next, go to Graphics Settings. Turn on Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Then scroll down and click on the game and set its graphics performance preference to high performance. This ensures that Windows prioritizes the game over background processes. Step 7. Use Launch Parameters and perform a clean boot. On Steam, right-click the game and go to Properties. Under Launch Options, paste the following line. Dash dash launcher dash skip space dash dash skip start screen space dash nox. This skips the launcher, skips the start screen, and disables specific CPU instructions that may cause instability. Now perform a clean boot of your system. Press the Windows key and R at the same time and Titans config. In the Services tab, check Hide All Microsoft Services, then click Disable All. Then open Task Manager, go to the Startup tab, and disable all startup items. Restart your computer and launch the game. Step 8. Force DirectX 11 mode without Developer Console. Here's how to force DX11 startup without needing pro-level tweaks. Open Steam Library, right-click the game, Properties. Under Launch Options, type DX11. This forces the game to bypass DirectX 12, which is known to crash on certain drivers. For Epic Games, Go to Settings, scroll to the game, enable additional command line arguments, and type DX11. Step 9. Advanced Crash Fixes Alright, if the quick fixes didn't work, here's where we apply the hidden tweaks most guides miss. 
Disable overclocking. If you're running any CPU or GPU overlocks, even through software like MSI Afterburner, disable them. It is sensitive to overlocks and will crash on startup. Turn off XMP profiles in BIOS. XMP can cause instability in Unreal Engine 5 games like this one. Restart your PC, enter BIOS, and disable XMP or DOSP. Set shader cache to unlimited. Open NVIDIA control panel. Manage 3D settings. Under global settings, set shader cache size to unlimited. For AMD users, use adrenaline settings and clear the shader cache once. These steps directly stabilize the engine's resource management at startup. Step 10, run as administrator plus compatibility mode. Finally, if nothing else works, right-click the games.exe in the install folder, choose properties, compatibility, check run this program as administrator, and if needed, set it to Windows 10 mode. Many players report this instantly fixes startup crashes. Skip intro video. If it still crashes, go into your Steam library, right-click the game, select properties, launch options, and add this command. Skip video. This forces the game to bypass the intro movie completely and boot straight into the menu. If you follow the steps correctly, your game should now launch without crashing, freezing, or closing automatically. If your game still does not launch, tell me exactly what error you are getting and I will create a custom fix video for your setup. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more optimization and fix guides, and let me know in the comments which step worked for you. We post verified solutions for crashes, performance issues, and FPS optimization, all tested before upload. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Never slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement.